Hi, and welcome to 2017 Paper 1 of the Junior Cert High Level. We're on question 5, and I would just suggest you pause this and have a go at the question um, before I go through it. So I'd assume you're back now. If you actually want the hard copy, or sorry, soft copy, more correctly, of the set of uh, notes with the screen grab question and then the uh, answer on the next page, just send me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com. The email is in the description for the video below. So let's get stuck in. It's a 15C part, part A. Uh, part A1 and 2 are uh, joined together. So we're looking here. Pete and Maeve are saving to buy an Xbox. Pete has saved $20, so euro to begin with. He saves a further 12 euro each week. Find the total amount of money Pete will have saved after five weeks. Now, first thing, you have a starting point, And you have each week a set amount being set aside. So this will be described by a linear equation. And if we're using this version of the slope intercept, that's the y equals mx plus c. Now, in that point there, the c is where it crosses the y-axis, so it would be the starting point. Okay, that's the 20. The slope is 12. It's going up by 12 every uh, week. And x being the number of weeks, and y would be the amount saved. Okay, so that's basically what we're going to do for this next uh, first part. Actually, sorry, it's easier. Find the total amount of savings that people have saved after five weeks. Okay, so we started with 20. Uh, 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12. Plus 12. But we could have found that using the linear model by just putting in five weeks instead of x. Um, but this is just easier, just to add it up. Okay, so he saved 80 uh, euros over the five weeks. Part two then says write an expression um, in using n instead of x for the total amount of money Pete would have saved after n weeks. So instead of using x, we're using n. Um, this is basically the formula I had a second ago. Uh, y is equal to mx plus c, but the y is the savings. The n is the x number of weeks. It's going up by 12, so the slope is 12. And starting point C, the, the y-intercept, uh, is 20. Okay, hopefully that makes sense there. Part B here, uh, Maeve has saved 15 euros to begin with. She saves a further 6 euro each week. Write an expression in N for the total amount of money that Maeve would have saved after N weeks. So it's the exact same thing. Your starting point is 15, that's your C value. If we're using the, the, just the standard y equals mx plus c. Okay, excuse the bad writing, this thing is hard enough to control. So your 15 is the c value. Your slope, your, your gradient is the 6. So it's y equals 6 times x plus 15. Using the notation we used before, so savings equals 6 times n, n being the number of weeks, plus the 15. So part 2 and part B, they're basically the same thing. Move on then now to the next part. Now before I move on to the next part, I want to clarify that part A1, A2 and B are all marked together. That's which is pretty unusual, okay. Um, you'll see there, it's always worth, if you're on a higher level and you want to do really well, you need to be fairly aware of the marking scheme, what things are going for, okay. So you'll see there, by, I suppose, downloading it from examinations.ie, if you want, as I said, to the email address shanetroy at gmail.com, I can email on the marking scheme to you. I have it easy, just easily attached on. Uh, but if you read it, as soon as give you a, a help on how to solve it, okay, um, but also like where the marks are going. In switches like this, usually, if you have, you see, the high part of the 11, will go for uh, work of merit in two parts. Or sometimes if you have one correct answer of the three, you get the, the high part. It just depends on the year, okay. So it's actually, it's a good thing when it's marked like that. Now we'll go back to the question. Sorry, here we are. Okay, so part C. Pete will give one quarter of his savings to buy the Xbox. Maeve will give two thirds of her savings to buy the Xbox. And the Xbox costs 200. After how many weeks will they have enough money saved to buy the Xbox? Now it's fairly tricky, uh, and there's many, many ways of doing this, but basically, uh, be one quarter for Pete saves, two thirds for, for what Maeve saves, and you've already established them in parts uh, A2 and B. Okay, so it's a, it's a quarter of that times that, and uh, two thirds times that, times that. Okay, now if I go into the answer. It's basically done here, so a quarter times what um, Pete saves, two thirds what Maeve saves, that would equal, once it equals two hundreds, you have the number of weeks. Okay, so just solve it out, we'll play across by, by or divide across by four, four to the twelve goes the three times, four to the twenty goes the five times. A little trickier here, you're multiplying by two thirds, but if you just do by the two by six is twelve, divided by three is four, so we get the four n, 
and then 2 times 15 is 30 divided by 3 is 10. Okay, so now I have it's much simpler looking now. Okay, it's a linear equation okay, of 1 and 1. Add the unknowns, 3 and 4 is 7n. Add the numbers, 5 and 10 is 15. Just follow the algebra, bring the 15 across. It was added on the left, becomes subtracted on the right. You end up with this little sum here. Do that calculation, and it got 185. So 7 times some number equals 185. The, um, the, the way that you can try to guess it, or just cross, multiply, cross divide the 7 into the 185. So it was multiplied on the left, comes across the equal, does the opposite, which is divided. Do that calculation. And with 26.4 weeks, now how many weeks? You have to always round. Even if it's 26.1 weeks, you round up to near the next full week. So the answer there is 27 weeks. Okay. Now we go to the marking scheme here. Um, let's scroll down. That's it there. Okay, so that's the method I went with. But there were other ways of looking at it. Okay, so it just shows you that in in, in maths, there's often, you know, uh, many different ways of looking at the question. None are better than the other, just some are more elegant, maybe. And it's just a different case. Okay. And this should be the end of question five. Okay, so thanks very much, and have a go at it again. It was a tricky question, but there was parts which you could do very, very well uh, with decent knowledge of uh, quarter geometry and algebra. Thank you.